hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i just got some new makeup recently and i just thought i'd do get ready with me try and some of it out so if you want to see some of the new makeup i got and what it looks like then just keep watching i literally haven't had like clear skin in months i keep getting new spots and i never used to be like this but now like i used to get the odd spot the occasional spot but now it's like every day like there's a new one and if one's starting to go down another one has already started to form so that is amazing so i've just primed my eyelids with the wet and wild eyeshadow primer so i've got like quite a few bits to try out today um i heart revolution is not available to buy in premark but my premark didn't have like a lot of things i wanted to get like it didn't have the um there's a like a peach eyeshadow palette um it didn't have any lip liners or lip gloss in the iheart revolution section so i've only got a couple of bits from the iheart revolution collab with Primark to try out in this video definitely nowhere near enough for a full face of just iheart revolution and Primark, but i have another few things as well so yeah firstly what i'm going to be doing is i got this palette from Primark, the smaller one it's like a sister to the exposed palette i guess so that's just like the color story it's just like really nice like smoky palette and i just thought it's something a bit different than what i normally go for and i do really like the exposed palette so i thought i'd just give this one a so go firstly i thought i'd just go in this shade twisted which is that that one there um it's a bit annoying that these palettes don't have a mirror on them but they're only five pounds so it's not like expecting to have a mirror so i'm just gonna take that twisted shade and just put it into like face the eyeshadow primer i don't know what has it even sometimes it gets stuck in my crease the eyeshadow primer but yeah i'm just gonna build this shade up twisted i'm trying not to take too much because i don't want it to look like a black so eye or something i ended up putting that twisted shade all through the crease and i'm actually in the outer corners as well and next i'm going to go in with the shade mousse which is this one here if you can see no does it over focus yeah this one here and just kind of go around the edges with that just to kind of like smoke it out a bit more just to add a little bit to it i'm not going to take a ton like literally just tap in once because these shadows are really really pigmented but just like adding it along the edges there to kind of blend that shade out a bit but also just to smoke the whole thing out so just like that i literally took the tiniest amount and i actually think it's really made a like a really nice difference um next i'm just going to take moonlight which is the really like the lightest shade to just go over and blend all those edges out the from my experience from the exposed palette the shimmers weren't that good but we'll just see what they're like in this palette so that moon was it moon yeah moonlight shade is really really pigmented so I'm starting underneath my eyebrow and kind of just to get the most of the shadow off up there and then when by the time I get down here to uh, um blend the edges out it won't just be like a really sharp white line and then I will take a bit more of that mousse shade just to blend those two together kind of I have no idea what shimmer I'm gonna choose because I don't know so just kind of a wee bit more of that moonlight on this side just to not be really like just to make it look a bit less crazy okay so that's all the matte eyeshadow like kind of done so I'm gonna go and with the shimmer now so there is let me see um four well there's like six seven six seven shimmers but kind of mainly focusing on 
these four here. I'm not sure which one to go with. Kinda, I don't know. I'm kinda between these these two. Kinda don't just want to go in with the obvious like like this one. I think I'll try this one. See what it's like. This one here, which is stale. This is very different for me. I know I did like a bright grey look before, but it's still very different for me because I just don't really do this type of look. The shimmer is coming off a lot better than the ones in the exposed palette. Definitely coming off like a lot better than the one in the exposed palette. The I've actually well there was a couple of shimmers in the exposed palette that weren't too bad, but but um this is just overall from a first impressions point of view. This is definitely doing a lot better than those shimmers. I actually really like this. I actually really like this look. Yeah, I really do like this eye look. The shimmer's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And I just think... I just really like this look. Which is really, like, unexpected. Because I just... I don't know. I don't really like... Usually, like, this kind of eyeshadow on me. I just think... I don't know maybe I'm just um into this kind of look no I actually really do like this look and I would go out like wearing it so yeah I'm kind of obsessed so I'm just putting on some of this flawless glow you see me apply this like a hundred times so I'm not going to go too much into that I'm gonna go in with the be perfect foundation and update last time I used this on camera the pump was the pump was working fine but now it's back to not working again and there's definitely plenty of product in it going in with the pink honey bff face frosting milky maca so i just put that chroma cover on there i'm gonna try and blend this out with a, a beauty blender today see if it makes any difference i've been um a couple of times when i've been using this it's been i don't know like blending into my foundation a bit and like not I guess looking a bit muddy so I'm just gonna try and use it with the with the beauty blender today as opposed to I just put some on my hair and that's that's amazing um with a beauty blender today just as opposed to with a brush just to see if it makes any kind of difference I'm not seeing like a huge difference blending it out with the beauty blender as opposed to the brush but it, it looks nice so i'll just see what it looks like i guess i've got everything else on so i'm just gonna go in with the chroma cover concealer now again this is not new i've used this numerous times before so i'm gonna keep it short i guess this part so i'm just a bit here and loads a ton on this awful spot down here. I don't know, like if anybody can help me out with any ways to get rid of spots, just you know, let me know. But um yeah, I'm just gonna leave this sit for a moment as always and then blend it in just with this beauty blend. So I just put a bit more on just to have it sit for a minute and so I can get more coverage. So next I've got a new liquid blush to try. So this was from the Primark I Heart Revolution. So this is the watermelon liquid blush and it's in the same kind of packaging as the other revolution ones that i really like the super dewy ones and the roxy one and the simpsons ones i'm hoping this is gonna be really nice it's usually these ones are usually really super pigmented i haven't tried i don't think i've tried an eye heart revolution liquid blush but it's just because it's in the same packaging as the regular revolution ones i'm kind of like i hope it's nice so it's kind of pretty sure you can see that it's kind of the colour that we're coming off with. I'm not going to put a ton of it out on my hand, like initially, just so in case it's really pigmented. So it's kind of what we're working with. So I'm just going to use my MF1 brush from Maybe Mitchell. I've put a tiny bit just on the brush there. I don't know if I should, maybe I should just put it. 
and that will be easier to blend it out because that's what I do with my other ones like I put them just straight up on my face after putting it out onto my hand yeah that's so nice that colour is actually so nice oh my gosh that colour is so nice they had a cherry one and they had a peach one as well but the peach one's like bright orange but that is actually so nice I'm just gonna take another little bit and I'm actually gonna apply it straight to my brush okay maybe straight to the brush wasn't the best method oh. I'm gonna take a bit and put it on my finger and then just put it on my face that way and hopefully it'll blend a bit nicer just gonna put a bit more here as well yeah i didn't know really what kind of shape of this one because you already you obviously only see the kind of bottom of it there but i, I kind of thought it'll be a bit more pinkier based on the look of it but this is so nice because it's not this is actually like something that i really like because it's not like really really like orangey peach it's just kind of like a really nice wearable peach i don't like a peach that's like too orange i think that's really nice i'm just going in and powder in my under eyes um on days like this where i'm lazy i will use the powder puff as well for my whole face because i just cannot be bothered to like move five feet and get my powder brush so i have quite a few like more cheek products to put on um i got a few for my art revolution i'm just gonna see how they kind of go on my face um i did get a highlighter but i think it's gonna be it's gonna definitely it will be too dark as a highlighter but i'm just gonna try it as like a blush topper i should really should have just went and got my powder brush but i'm too lazy for that let's have to kind of make do do like this i don't even know why i did that because i don't really i don't bake under my um cheeks this is yeah i don't bake under my cheeks i do sometimes but then i always end up hating it so i just kind of powder this is like a bit like baking oh my gosh i think i might need to go get my powder brush to try and fix this side maybe no <laughs> no, nah, it looks all right. It looks all right. So next, I'm going to do my um. I don't even know what I was gonna say. Powder blush. So I have a powder blush to use. It's not new. It's just gonna be the bar my Barbie blush from Primark. And then I got like a blush topper to try. Well, highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as a blush topper. I'm just looking for my blush brush oh here it is so i'm just going to use the barbie one hopefully it'll go nice for this liquid blush yes that actually goes so nice for a liquid blush oh my gosh i always do this i always do my powder blush before i do my powder blush bronzer i always forget this every single day so i'm gonna go in with my powder bronzer just i don't even I'm, I'm looking for a brush for it um i've been using this a lot lately the mea makeup academy golden art palette this bronzer here the first one so i'm just gonna use that and maybe have to go over the blush again i don't know I always forget that. I always am doing my powder brush and I'm like, I forgot to do powder bronzer. It's so crazy to me that like a few months ago I just didn't do any like half of this. Like I didn't do like any powder bronzer or anything and now I'm just like, okay, I see why I need it. But yeah, this one is so nice in this MEA face palette and I think like the whole palette was only like about six pounds and you do get two bronzers two blushers and highlights that is pretty good value so 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put this on as like a blush topper and just use the same brush but just because it's meant to be highlighter sweet strawberry highlighter from I Heart Revolution Primark but it's gonna be too dark so I thought if I get it I can use it as a blush topper and as like an eyeshadow so I just love the package you know it was too too cute to like not pick up so getting these things open is literally a nightmare see like any makeup at all from Primark it is an absolute nightmare to get it open and these are no different oh my gosh I just ripped like that's not great I just ripped like the back off of it but that is how hard it is to get these things open so oh that would have to come off that is the packaging is really not good with these I Heart Revolution in Primark like look at how it just shows you like how cheap that was that it was literally just able to be pulled off and now it's like left this like really quite flimsy this is literally just made of cardboard for 350 in the pans quite small so i'm not really yeah the packaging is really cheap so i'm not really enjoying the packaging of this i heart revolution stuff but it's it looks like this sweet strawberry if it wants to focus i'm gonna try it as like a blush topper so just put my blush brush that i just used just in there and i'm just gonna just gonna go over the whole of my blush just to kind of get like just to use it as something to go over this way just to make me a bit more shimmery so yes it looks quite nice oh my gosh i thought the top of it was literally gonna come off there do you see like that's just falling off this is so close to like this has been held together by a bit of paper now at this point this packaging is really not it like at all but i'm gonna try a highlighter now that i got also from the i heart revolution range like that's so cheap packaging that other one but this is much better quality packaging for the same price so if I can get it open, I swear <laughs> I can't get it open. Finally got it open. So um this has like a pinky bit, a champagne -y bit, and a goldie. No, a pinky bit, a champagne -y bit. Yeah, and I guess like a bit like a whitey bit and you know it's got three bits to it. So I'm just gonna kinda take my brush and put it like through all the parts of it. It's coming across a bit like powdery but that's all right oh that's really nice okay i literally put the tiniest tiniest amount on i just like blended the three shades like together that's so nice is it giving a bit of a cast mm, maybe a little bit and I just like to to do it like here and here and also like loads of places just to make me like glow a little bit more. But yeah, I'm actually really liking that. And I actually think the bronzer looks really nice today as well. Don't know, maybe that technique works better blending out with the beauty blender. Um, I'm going to go do my eyebrows and mascara off camera because I don't have any new things for them and then i'll come back for lip oh actually i lied so i do have something kind of new for brows this revolution like it's the same as the big one that i was using but it's just in a little one because i couldn't get the big one anymore but yeah wax powder under brow highlight um a little thing to brush your eyebrows with double ended brush so i'm gonna go and just do my brows off i just put that Primark double act mascara on which is a maybelline sky high dupe and i think it looks so nice what what is that um yeah i think it looks so nice it's it's really volumizing and lengthening as well so now onto lips i have a really quite a few products um that i got recently i don't know what what lip i should go with i have a i got one of the new i heart revolution chocolate lip glosses one of the new ones not from primark just from superdrug but i don't know if it'll go with this look 
I don't think it would. So I've got this one from Primark, this lip gloss. It literally, it doesn't have a name on it. It's just lip, lip gloss. It doesn't have a shade name or anything on it, does it? No. Um, so I'm thinking like this with a nice lip liner or something. Um, I don't know. I might do like Doll Beauty lip combo. So I think maybe a nice pinky nude would look quite nice with this um yeah let me go try that one okay so i decided to go with the dream on lip liner from doll beauty first okay so that's the dream on lip liner it's so pretty and then i'm just gonna go in with a bit of dolled out lipstick just like patting that on and blending it out the first time I tried that lipstick I was like this is way too pale for me but now I just know to tap like kind of tap it on and blend it out I just kind of keep going like this until I get how I want it. That's nice. That's nice. Now I might add a bit more of the lip liner. I probably will just uh, go with a tiny bit more. That I'm actually loving this look because I did not think that this look was going to be to turn out like this. A bit more lip liner, just. And then I'm going to put a bit of the gloss on the Primark gloss. This is just literally like clear with a pink tint. So it's like not this colour. It is very like really sheer to it. Like there's a real like sheerness to it. So I'm just going to put this on top. Like how nice is that? This might be, it, it reminds me a bit of the pink macaron gloss I had, however, from Ringwalk that they don't do anymore, so I am loving this. Like, how nice is that lip? Never done with the blending. I really like that lip. I really like this gloss can't remember how much it was maybe 250 um but yeah i'm gonna go and set everything now with this new setting spray i haven't been able this is my go-to revolution super g but i haven't been able to get this because every super drug is sold out i'm going to order it from revolution website but in the meantime i just picked up this one from collection illuminating dewy finish it's not that great because i sprayed it the other day and it was like half of my forehead was like um g and the other half was completely matte so i was like <laughs> but i'm gonna give it another try today um i'm gonna order the revolution one from the revolution site just since i can't get it in shop i'm just gonna um spray it a little bit and then i'm just going to try and put my hair back a little bit and then just i mean it does make me like nice and g it's just not like my favorite because the revolution super g was just unreal but yeah i mean it's all right for the moment until i can get the super g one again okay so this is the finished look i did not expect to love this look as much as i do like i'm literally obsessed like i think with the um with the face frosting the pink honey face frosting i think blending out of the sponge kind of worked a bit better and then definitely like putting up the concealer underneath just so that it kind of creates that definition between the two but whilst also like uh blurring as well i think that's really really helped um 
yeah i'm really 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 loving this look today i love the eyes as well like i didn't think i would love the eyes this much because i just don't really do looks like this because i just think it looks like i've got a black eye or something but i'm really really loving this and i love the lip as well like new favorite like pinky nude lip definitely um i love the cheeks i do love like this was so this was so nice like literally so nice and so was the strawberry um a sweet strawberry as a blush topper but the packaging of this is just not it is literally it's gonna fall apart like i'm waiting on it falling apart but I, it's such a nice blush topper yeah i really love this makeup today um definitely let me know what you think in the comments what do you think of the makeup the pro the new products have you got any of this stuff are you going to pick any of it up let me know all your thoughts down below and thanks so much for watching i really do appreciate every single person that watches it really does mean an awful lot to me um thanks so much for watching and i will see you again in another video soon and definitely go and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this hit subscribe if you want to see future content as well it all means just so much to me anybody that supports me so thank you so much and i'll see you really soon bye